It's MED Monday! Today, change your ways and stop losing money at poker. Everybody studies on Monday, so welcome to the 31st Minimum Effective Dose Monday episode. Today's article comes to us from an old favorite, Nathan Williams, over there at BlackRain79.com. The article was released back on August 29th of 2018, and it's called Five Proven Ways to Stop Losing at Poker. And it is a really good article. For today's episode, I'm going to read to you the five proven ways. Now, once you go to this article for yourself, there's additional things that uh, additional things that he wrote beyond those five ways to stop losing money. But that's just going to make the podcast too long. I think the most important aspects of this article were those five proven ways. Uh, but please go to the show notes page for this, uh, smartpokerstudy.com slash M-E-D Monday. It's episode 31. You can click on the link right there, go directly to his article, and read beyond the five ways for a ton more poker goodness there. After I read those five ways, I'm going to then give you the minimum effective dose idea. This is the critical concept to take away and apply to your poker game and to your studies. And then I'll give you the minimum effective dose action. That is the one thing that you must do this week to boost your poker to the next level. Alrighty, here are some words of wisdom from Nathan Williams. Gambate! You with me? So let's do this thing! Five proven ways to stop losing at poker. We've all been there. You sit down at the poker table to play another session, and despite your best efforts, you leave with less chips than you started with. They hit their flush again, straight on the river, and so on. You just can't seem to win a hand of poker. It all seems hopeless. You are totally sick of losing at poker. Does that sound familiar? If so, then this article is for you, because I'm going to give you five proven ways to finally stop losing at poker. Now, I can't promise that you will be playing poker like Phil Ivey when you're finished reading the article, but it will definitely help you stop losing at poker. Number one, fold versus turn and river raises. The first way to stop losing at poker is going to require a bit of faith on your part, and it might even sound a bit crazy at first. But from now on, if you only have one pair on the turn or river and they raise you, then you need to fold your hand. In low-stakes poker games, which are mostly full of passive players these days, a raise on the turn or the river very often represents a huge hand. And what do I mean by huge hand? I mean something that beats one pair. Now, I know it's painful if you have aces or kings, but trust me on this one. This is really going to help you stop losing at poker. I love pocket aces and pocket kings as much as you do, but you have to remember that it is just one pair. Winning poker players know when to fold an overpair. Believe me, when they start raising you on the Turner River, it's because they have you beat. Just close your eyes and fold your hand. You'll be thanking me later. Number two, remove slow play from your poker vocabulary. This next tip to stop losing at poker might be difficult at first as well. Often, we see our poker heroes on TV, like Daniel Negreanu, making brilliant slow plays and roping them into making a big mistake. But you have to understand that they're doing this in high-stakes poker games versus world-class opponents. Slow playing often does work well in these games, but it doesn't work good in your $10 game online or your $1, $2 game at the local casino. And this is because many of your opponents in these games are calling stations, which basically means they love to call. Therefore, you're losing a lot of money by not betting your hand. This is a huge reason why people lose at poker. You have to build a pot for them and never slow play your big hands in low stakes games. The next time you get pocket aces, for instance, just raise and re-raise with it. Play it in the most stupidly obvious and straightforward way possible. This is the way to win the most with big hands like pocket aces. You never want to get tricky against bad poker players. Believe me, it'll just go right over their heads. Number three, fish at the table or you leave. The next way to stop losing at poker might be the most effective winning poker strategy that I can possibly give you for today's games. And that is, you need to always have a big fish at your poker table. If you can't immediately identify the mark, then you leave. It's that simple. The reason why this is so important is because the fish are how we make money in this game. If you play online poker, then you should use a HUD. Your HUD will tell you who the fish are. They will have a VPIP that is 40% or higher. 
In live poker games, you just have to look for the guy who's playing too many hands, limping, calling down with bad hands, and so on. If you don't have one of these guys at your table, you leave. I can guarantee that this strategy will immediately help you stop losing at poker. Number four, have a rock solid pre-flop strategy. Everything starts before the flop in poker. You should have a rock solid pre-flop strategy to know exactly which hands to play and raise with from every single position. If you don't have one yet, then I would suggest checking out my free poker cheat sheet, which will tell you exactly which hands to play from each position. The biggest thing to remember is this. You want to play a lot of hands around the button. You want to play less hands in the blinds and up front. The reason why is simple. Position is king in poker. It's a proven statistical fact that you will win way more when you have position. The bottom line, get a solid preflop strategy, memorize some charts if you need to. This stuff should be automatic for you at the poker tables. No more guessing about what hands to play. And number five, use timeouts to stop losing at poker. The last and probably most effective way to stop losing at poker is to use timeouts to control your tilt when it starts building. Tilt or frustration is easily the number one reason why people fail to win in poker. It isn't that they don't have the skills to win. It's that they throw away all their profits when the cards go south on them. So I would recommend making use of timeouts when you take a few bad beats in a row. This means that you immediately get up from the table and go walk around for a few minutes. Try doing some deep breathing exercises. This allows you to calm yourself down and prevent you from making emotionally charged, poor decisions at the poker table. If you feel that your level of tilt and frustration is extremely high, then you should just quit playing poker for the day completely. Remember that the games will always be there again tomorrow when you have a clear mind. One of the best pieces of advice I can ever give you to stop losing at poker is to stop playing when you're feeling tilted. This literally ruins entire poker careers, bankrolls, and dreams in this game. I swear I've seen a lot of stuff in my life, but that was awesome. <laughs> but sorry about your car, man. Wow, was I right? You could tell that those five ways to stop losing money at poker, they're absolutely true. They make logical sense, even if you've never played the game before, right? They all make sense. So definitely, uh, those are five things that you must be following. And if you're not following some of them, but you're still profitable right now, I bet if you followed all five, you'd be more profitable. Uh, so if you go to the show notes page uh, for this, smartpokerstudy.com slash Monday, you can find a link to this and... Uh, after the article or after those five items, he has a few more sections uh, where he's just talking about dealing with losses and running bad. And it's really good information. Most of it's related to the possible tilt, which causes a lot of people to lose a ton of bankrolls. All right, now it's time for the MED idea. Here it is. Each of these points are important, but the most important was the first. Fold against turn and river raises with one pair hands. Now here's the MED action. In your next four sessions, focus on one of these points at a time. Session one, you'll think twice, nay thrice, before calling a turn or a river raise. Session two, you won't slow play a single big hand, either pre or post flop. Session three, you'll only play at tables containing loose fish. Session four, you'll focus on using your preflop ranges and getting to the flop in money making situations. And throughout all four of these sessions, pay attention to your emotions, and if you're feeling tilted, frustrated, just straight up angry, take a break. Thank you so much for listening today. And of course, once again, thank you to Nathan Williams at BlackRain79.com for writing such a killer article. Really, I suggest you check it out for yourself. Follow all five of those ways and read beyond them to get a little bit more information on tilt and, and uh, mounting frustration from losses, that kind of stuff. Uh, please visit his website. Oh, when you go to his website, BlackRain79.com, you can also sign up for the newsletter. And please let Nathan know that I sent you his way via Twitter, at BlackRainPoker. You can listen to this and every other MED Monday episode by going to smartpokerstudy.com slash MED Monday. And please send me questions via email, sky at smartpokerstudy.com. And before I sign off, if you haven't purchased Preflop Online Poker yet, it's available in all formats on Amazon, ebook, paperback, and of course, audiobook. So until next time, apply the MED idea to the rest of your game and practice the MED action all week long. Mm -hmm.